What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? We just wrapped up an awesome day of fishing for redfish, trout, flounder, even some black drum. But I wanted to take a minute and answer a question we got from an insider in the community the other day, and that was, how does barometric pressure affect inshore fishing? Now, this is a really good question. There's a lot of moving parts to barometric pressure, and it can get really confusing. Some people say there's a specific number that you want to be fishing during that's going to really trigger a bite. Others say don't go fishing during this number, and it's much more simple than that, I promise you. It's really just determining where you are in all these different different frontal passages that are keyed into you by barometric pressure and what game plans you need to use. Prefrontal game plans, during the front game plans, and postfrontal game plans. So to start off, I want to talk about kind of the rising and falling barometer and how that's going to key into you the fronts. Basically, when you have a falling barometer, that's going to indicate to you that there is a break between two air masses that's about to come through. You've got two different types of weather systems that are coming. One may be hot, one may be cold. You've got different weather that's moving through. So that low pressure is going to indicate to you that that front, those two different air masses, are about to change through your area. So you're going to have whatever air system, whatever weather you've been experiencing is about to change. So this is when you want to use your prefrontal game plan, when that barometer is falling. If you look on those charts, it's going to be going down like this. That's that allowing that air mass to move through and change the weather, basically. So the fish can feel this through all the different weather changes that are occurring. Typically, this is going to trigger a really good bite. We're going to see a lot of fish up in the shallows most times, especially in the winter, feeding really heavily uh, because typically during the winter, low pressure systems are going to indicate that there's really harsh cold weather moving through during these fronts. So they're going to be up in the shallows feeding when they can, uh, getting ba basically full in preparation for this front. Uh, and once that front does move through, once those temperatures kind of stable off before they start to rise, now you're during the front. They're going to move out of those shallows. This is just a winter example again. Move out of those shallows into deeper water to anticipate that high pressure, which is going to be that really cold weather again in the winter that you're going to typically have after that low pressure system moves through really harsh temperatures and they're going to be really deep and you have to adjust your tactics so again that front has kind of tapered off you got your post front and that's a good bite right there fish will typically start to slide up shallow again and then the next front will move through and it goes back down so you've got peaks and valleys that's going to indicate to these fish when they need to feed and if you keep an eye on that barometer on where it's moving it kind of tells you what you're doing what game plan you need to use uh, to adjust where you're going to find fish basically how fast you need to fish what baits you need to use and there's a lot that goes into it and this is just a small overview of what you need to be doing i tried to just simplify looking at barometer for you guys i'm not going to give you any specific numbers because depending on your latitude it could be completely different in terms of a standard barometer for someone that's in the carolinas as someone that's in texas so you don't need to be looking at specific numbers but rather how it rises and falls in relation to your area and how that's going to affect the game plan that you use now there's a lot more that goes into this that i really can't share in this video it's an honestly a conversation that could take hours uh, but we do have a lot of really great information for you guys to check out in the salt strong insider club that's going to help you kind of make more sense of this big puzzle of cold fronts warm fronts how you need to fish around them all these different game plans i've talked about the tactics everything you need so i recommend you guys visit our site and join the salt strong insider club if you are not already a member and we'll definitely help you guys learn how to fish around these fronts so thanks again so much for watching and we'll see you in the salt strong insider club and if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee we're going to help you find and catch more fish, save money on tackle, and make friends fast. Or it's free. So we hope to see you in the Salt Strong Insider Club soon, and thanks again for watching.